Hi everyone, today we got a vlog. <laughs> I'm thinking it's gonna be a lot of cleaning and organization because Lunar New Year is coming up. I wanna get a bunch of that stuff done before then. And also I guess I'll be showing you my house in general. I haven't really showed specific areas too much uh, in at least like, you know, over a year. This video maybe consists of me showing you messes also in my home which will hopefully <laughs> then become tidy. Before we get into that though, I'm gonna talk about today's sponsor and that is Beauty of Josan, specifically their Relief Sun Rice and Probiotics SPF 50 plus PA plus 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 plus. <laughs> so that's why I'm coming at you right now, bare faced. I got a really bad allergic reaction to something many months ago and that kind of turned into, or maybe was a trigger, for just a bunch of eczema on my face. I've really never had eczema on my face or that kind of irritation, but it was eczema, which was so itchy. And then that made me break out more because obviously like, yeah, I was itching it and stress and all these things. The sunscreen that worked for me before is not working for me now. This is like hands down my favorite sunscreen I've used in a, in a very long time. And I think it's good for a lot of skin types. So first of all, this is an organic sunscreen. I do know that it has been tested in Korea and in Europe as well. I'm gonna show you what my skin looked like before like washing my face. So you can really see the texture of especially this cheek right here where the eczema is like healing a lot. Outside of any like active breakouts where I use, you know, like products to address that, I generally use very minimal products and very gentle ones. This SPF pretty much feels and applies like a lightweight moisturizer, which in itself is very unique because sunscreens typically don't feel like that. They don't feel like they're gonna absorb well into the skin, but this one has just a very pleasant texture, no scent. I, I think there's like a, the faintest scent, but Honestly, unless you're really trying to get in there and smell it, you're not gonna smell it. Absolutely no white cast. I do think this would work for darker skin tones. I'm not too attracted to dewy skincare because it feels like something is just sitting on top of the skin. This doesn't, it just absorbs. I also did two layers. I would say if you're looking into a new sunscreen, you should check this out. It has a really fair price point as well. And I do know they have a deal right now for two sunscreens, I believe $30. So this is your reminder and mine that you need to wear sunscreen. It's very important. Definitely check this out and definitely check out Beauty of Josan as a brand. All right, let's get into the video. Oh man, hi everyone. So <laughs> I just recorded a bunch of stuff and my audio is like totally wrong. <laughs> I wanted to put some makeup on, you know, just to look cute and be a little bit more put together. Also, like I changed my clothes because it's cold right now. If you noticed from earlier, I have this little microphone on. I'm very, very stoked about it. So like, this is what I've always used. Just a little like directional mic. If I'm talking to you like this, obviously the mic is facing me because it has to be facing me. But anytime I switch the camera around, I have to switch the mic around because I'm behind the camera. So any every single shot, if it goes back and forth, I'm switching this back and forth, back and forth. And because of that, you know, mistakes can be made. I did a bunch of research and this mic, like everybody's loving it, or a lot of people are. I did get like a little lavalier microphone, like a little one, so I can like put this in my pocket or something. So I won't have this directly like on me. Watch what I can do now, okay guys? Are, are you ready for this? You can still hear me, right? You still hear me? Can you still hear me? Very cool demonstration, right? I just got very lonely. Anyways, no matter what, anything new that you get, there's gonna be a learning curve in terms of the settings, and I really, really hope I have the settings right. Josie sounds. Y'all are about to get an exclusive look at my vanity. I left it kind of a mess on purpose, so we're gonna have a little bit of a before, okay? This is what my vanity area currently looks like. 
hello, my bed, right there, okay? There's Joe Bean. I personally had to put my own kind of light bulbs in there that could dim and I set it to very dim because the light bulbs, I think they, I think they give you light bulbs with it. They're so bright. So I had to like finagle that. The power switch is not like on the unit. So it'd be like hanging down there. So I just used some Velcro and I connected it right here. So well, I'll show you what it looks like. Oh, oh, sorry, everyone blinded you. That's typically what my vanity looks like. And it's like on a low setting too. I also just attached this to the wall myself. What did I use for that? I think I used Velcro too. Oh no, no, I used command strips. Hello. She's like, who the heck are you talking to? Please. Pretty much I have obviously all of this makeup over here that I definitely can go through and I feel like I can take away so much of this. I have some skincare items up here, a LaCroix. <laughs> and then down here is where I have my hair stuff. Um, yeah, I just need to reorganize. I can like take out a bunch of stuff in those, those drawers. Over here I have like hair products and then random crap. Like those are all the brushes that I actually use. How bad are these? Ah, uh, it's the kind of thing, you know, when you let something go, you're like I'm, ne I'm never gonna use that. And then like a month later, you're like, where's that thing? <laughs> or your taste changed back to, to what you like. I used to wear so much red lipstick. Like these are all reds-ish. Um, I haven't recently, but like, what if all of a sudden I'm on a red lipstick kick and I've gotten rid of a bunch of stuff? These kind of drawers are kind of useless because once it goes into the drawer, I never go in there. You know what I mean? So that's why I don't know how people can tuck things away super neatly um, because if it's not like right in front of my face, I feel like I don't have a I don't have a tendency to, to use it and I just forget about it. Okay, I just picked a podcast. It's pretty much just a bunch of true crime, like real life stories that people write into Reddit or something like that. It's like, it's good, it's, it, it keeps your attention. I seem to be a magnet for creeps and weirdos since I got such a positive response. Yeah. took me a really long time, but it definitely looks a lot better than it did. And now, honestly, it has everything that I use here. That was all the stuff that was in there. Like a lot of these, it's just like these colors that I'm just not this right now. So I have another area where I just store, um, you know, foundation colors and stuff. But some of them are definitely really old. So, and I gotta put that in some palettes. I'm gonna clean the brushes. All right, so this little area is pretty much my hair zone. So we got all my brushes, very fancy. Okay, so down here I have my blow dryer and then um, this like round brush blow dryer. Honestly, I just used this thing. I haven't used my Dyson in a really long time. Fragrances. And I just put my mirror back there. It looks much nicer than it did. Now I have to just like put away all this stuff. Oh, that's, that. I just, those are products I'm talking about in a video, but these two I need to. I'm gonna tidy up some of the, the extra stuff and then we're gonna move on to the next section. This zone is like a dumping ground, obviously, of things I need to put away. And this is where I store like Josie's stuff. I put my handbags here too. This is just such a, I don't know, it's a, it's a strange little area because there's not too much room. I don't have like, um, you know, an entryway to put things. So I kind of designated this as like a dumping ground. <laughs> but other than that, like you can't really utilize this space. I actually for a while wanted to 
build just like built-ins over here but you know that's expensive very expensive and especially now because wood is still super expensive so i held off this thing behind here i actually got it so long ago if you can see it was a mirror or i got it from an etsy shop and it arrived broken like the mirror was totally in pieces so i had to clean it up and i need to get a mirror to put in there because I want to put it right here. That's why this, is, this has been empty for a long time. All my plants and stuff. Look at this guy. What is it? What, where, where is he going? Look at that vine. Look, where is it going? Look at this one. Okay, ready? It, like, do you see that vine? It doesn't want to focus on it. It's like all the way down there. I think once the mirror is up there, this will look really nice and put together. I just feel like there's something I could do over here to make it cuter, other than just cleaning it up, but we'll see. so sad still but much cleaner pretty much I mean I have to put all of these things away it's like my Christmas stuff um, in the shed I have to clean this thing out look how gross Ugh. but here we have the handbags I use the most regularly and all of Josie's stuff is here I want to figure out what I can put down there to utilize that space too because since it's like over here, I don't really like step, I wouldn't step over here, you know, to grab my shoes or put it away there. Was this one satisfying? It doesn't look so bad. Here is the third zone. Also, I finally put up my double happiness sign. This really does not do it justice. It's, it's like really cool and colorful. I also bought stuff to kind of like hide this cord. I already have one of those little boxes down there, but I just want to, you know, hide it in a straight line. Cord organization is always a challenge. You always have to like get these little, little accessories and stuff, but then like once you have it all figured out, it looks so much better. I feel like I need to eat something. I actually cooked a couple days ago. It has been a solid, at, at least a year since I really cooked and I used to enjoy it so much. And you know, with everything emotionally, I haven't cooked anything. And I actually like had the energy the other day to cook something. It's literally like such a small thing and really not something to be super proud of, but I am proud of myself for doing that. I obviously, I've been going through it and I really experienced real depression and I still am experiencing that. But just doing just such normal everyday things like was the most difficult thing. I don't know why I'm getting emotional about this. It just seemed impossible. So, <laughs> Yeah, just doing something like making myself some soup from scratch is like a big deal for me. Oh, oh my God, anyways. I had to take a moment there. Um, yeah, cleaning my house, making some soup, it's good things. Making a vlog definitely motivates me to do things um, and get things done, which is great. I still have a lot. <laughs> that I need to work on. Getting out of the house is still really difficult for me. <laughs> I feel like I wasn't like this before, but maybe it was also because of four when you live in the city, you just, you know, go downstairs. Whereas right now I have to like get my car and go do things. I just feel like my like brain chemistry has changed. And I don't know how people do like a million things in a day. <laughs> oh. <laughs>
ready to eat. Look at this. <laughs> um, so I added way too much of the pasta. And this was the end. Like I, I made an entire like my big Le Creuset pot of soup. So I've been eating leftovers for days. What is going on with your leg, huh, Joe? That's a really weird sit. Okay. I'll put the recipe for this down below. Do I change anything? In the recipe, it's just a really straightforward winter soup. But in the recipe, um, they blend the stock and the beans. I just, I just leave everything in their hole. So no blending necessary all into one pot, really minimal cleanup. You know what I want to do? I want to take my makeup off. My face is actually really itchy. I used a couple new products today to try out, one of them a primer, and... I'm not sure my skin really agrees with it. Oh. You're so weird sometimes. So this is the Beauty of Joseon Radiance Cleansing Balm. I like it how it opens up like this. And we have a little spatula here. I don't think anything Beauty of Joseon has scents, which I very much appreciate. I always use muslin cloths to take off my makeup. I think it's more thorough that way. This cleanser that I've been using from them, this is the Green Plum Refreshing Cleanser. I've been using the, like, just like a Cetaphil pretty much, the really gentle one. But you know, if you've used that one, sometimes it feels like, <laughs> it's almost just like, putting water on your face. Like I, it doesn't feel like I'm actually washing my face sometimes. This is just like a step up from that where it's still really gentle, doesn't sting or anything at all, but it, your face does feel cleansed. Now I'm putting on the Dynasty Cream. I also really like their packaging. It's very sleek. See, I think that primer kind of inflamed it a little bit. Shout out to my skin problem, people. <laughs> Eczema, psoriasis, acne. <laughs> What's up everyone? Good morning. Do y'all wanna see something cute as heck? This is my coffee station. <laughs> so I got beans and filter and Josie's random Kong thing underneath there. But up here, I just got these really cute little mini guys. This is like a little plum uh, wine, I guess. Yeah, plum wine. It's just so tiny. This little, look at this sake. I'm never going to drink this sake. It's so cute. And then a little tequila paloma. We have this little sleeping girl. And then we have a hanging girl. And I hung her in between two pins. It's like duff guy and then this pin says and for that you're going to die <laughs> just another pin over here and then my uh winnie the pooh in a jellyfish oh my gosh i love these guys i've had many over the years up here we have this little cross stitch that i did my first like kind of this one took a while I really messed up here. I kind of feel like I should redo it. But it says stay home 2020, 21, because that's when I, when I cross-stitched that. making some avocado toast or bagel. I've been actually really loving, I don't know if I've ever talked about this, 
These are place knives. They come in different colors, but I really like how this is very, I don't know what you call it, not seamless, but it's very smooth here. Things can't get like caught in there. They're very easy to clean. It feels nice. Like it's not slippery, but it's, it just has a nice hand feel to it. All right. Magic moment. Nice. Can you hear Josie munching away? Shoot, shoot, shoot. I burnt it. That went out. I recently got this like Himalayan salt black pepper garlic. Trader Joe's had this like, hollow, hello, had this jalapeno salt. I haven't been to Trader Joe's in a really long time. Oh, that sounds, I should do that. I should do a Trader Joe's trip. Ooh. Honestly, I don't really mind burnt too bad when it comes to like bagels and has something on it. The mug and my plate, those are from Felt and Fat. It's a really cool studio in the US and um, they have really beautiful pieces and I feel like it's a couple times a year because they're like a big studio. They do like a mystery box. The mystery boxes pretty much have items that they're like slightly off or there's something slightly, not wrong, but maybe the glaze didn't go on the way they liked. Um, so they sell at a high discount. I'm gonna finish this and then I'll, I'll show you the, the other pieces I got from them. Okay, check it out. This is all from Felt and Fat. So this is a nice little shallow bowl. I typically like my smaller bowls, um, you know, I like them deeper, but what I love from them, wait, is this Felt and Fat? Yes, are these. These are my favorite. They're so good for, you know, if you just have some rice with something else, like beef and broccoli or something, you know? You don't, it's not really great on a, in a plate, but it's piled a little too high in a bowl. So this is a perfect size. This is probably the mistake here. I don't even know if you can see it. There is, this tiny little, there we go, you can see it. I think that's why they couldn't sell it. Nothing actually wrong with them at all. These are probably my least useful ones. I might give these to my sister. I keep forgetting to ask her if she wants them. Here's another mug that I got. I think there's like a little, little bobble or whatever right there. I see it. It's so not noticeable. I've kind of reached a decision just now because I was looking at all my stuff and looking at what I want to organize. And if I wanted to organize my art stuff over here, craft stuff, that I'd want to organize the office at the same time because it wouldn't really make sense for me to just do it separately. Plus, I think that this video is really long already. Oh, by the way, everyone, if you have sliding glass doors, I mean, you could do this every night if you want or if you don't use the door much. Get a dowel, cut it to size, and just place it in there. I mean, if somebody's gonna wanna break into your house, I guess they could just <laughs> break the glass, but this really prevents someone from the outside, like, you know, opening the door. Josie, you wanna go out? Okay. I hope you like this vlog. Um, I think it's very chaotic, but you know, that's my life. If you liked it, maybe leave a little comment, say hi, a little like. I never say these like YouTube blurbs, <laughs> but yeah, it'd be nice. Subscribe. Thank you to Beauty of Joseon for sponsoring this video. I love y'all and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.